Rod, the Pirates, uh, another strong performance in the Pine Bowl on Saturday. Pacific University uh, jumped to a 35-7 to lead at halftime. Might have been more if um, had not fumbled deep in their territory and missed a field goal. Uh, another really good first half. Talk about how Whitworth has been able to get out fast and play so well in the first half of the last few games. Yeah, well, I think... Uh our guys have a sense of urgency. They know uh, what's at stake and what they're playing for and um, who they want to be. Uh, I don't know that we started fast earlier in the season, so I think it was a little bit of a point of emphasis, uh, and they've really responded to that. Do you feel like we are just starting to see, scratch the surface on, on what um, a player like Austin Ewing is able to do on the field in a game that we haven't really seen what he's fully capable of yet. Well, I would say this. The last couple weeks, he's taken a significant step forward. Um, I think that comes from protecting him. I think that comes from us knowing what he does best and putting him in situations to be successful. And I think, I mean, he's new to the offense. He didn't have spring football. I think him just really starting to understand. He's a student of the game, puts in the time, and you can see there's starting to be a comfort level. He's a special player. Is there a uh, uh, a fun uh, competition or, or um, battle between the offense and the defense when one team when one side makes a big play in a game, does the other side uh, automatically say our turn next? Uh, they seem to feed off of each other. Yeah, I like that word feed off. I think they feed off of each other, um, trust each other, uh, want to make sure they're doing their part. Um, I think. Uh, a couple things from this past Saturday, defense started slow and then really settled in, but did a great job taking the ball away. Uh, offense started fast, but we turned the ball over a couple times um, that, are, that are costly. So uh, I think, you know, both sides have some things they need to get better at, but they do feed off of each other. Last couple games, we've also seen how important consistency on special forces is. Hmm. Uh, we've seen a couple of plays by our opponents that really hurt them, uh, just basic field-of-snap uh, kind of plays. Yeah. Um, are, how pleased are you with how consistent our special forces have been this year? Very. Coach Murphy does a great job getting those guys prepared. Uh, we spend a lot of time on it. Uh, we've had some new kickers and punters, and they've really stepped up. Um, that was an area of concern as graduating our top two from last year's team. Uh, so really proud of them as well. Um, and same thing, just kind of feeding off each other and building confidence in that area. Uh, heading to Portland to play a Lewis and Clark team that um, for the most of the season has put up a lot of points and been uh, really dangerous offensively. What do we expect to see from the Pioneers on Saturday? A good team uh, at home. Uh, offensively, they really are talented. They have some skill. They have an experienced quarterback. They have a big line. They have a talented tailback. I mean, just like every week we're facing a good offense. They're a little bit more 10 and 11 personnel, maybe not as confusing and as heavy personnel as the last couple weeks, um, but do a really, really nice job. Uh, and then defensively, they're a four-man front. Um, it uh, seems like we're kind of back to a three and a four man front every other week, but a four man front, not a ton of pressure, um, and uh, it's just a well coached team.